My name is Dr. Frank Zadar. I'm an interventional cardiologist with Austin Heart. I work at the Heart Valve Clinic at the Heart Hospital of Austin. We started our program approximately five years ago and we're the first in Central Texas to implant transcatheter aortic valves. People have often describe it like a heart catheterization. We use local anesthetic, we use moderate sedation, we talk to the patients through the procedure, make sure they're relaxed and comfortable, and during that, we're able to replace the valve without a heart lung machine, without uh, general anesthesia. It's a dramatically different experience for the patient and profoundly less invasive. So as this valve progressively narrows, the heart muscle is trying to squeeze, and that valve just can't open and close the way it's supposed to. It's like a governor on an engine. They just can't get past a certain point. Most patients who come to the valve clinic with aortic stenosis are seen by the multidisciplinary team, and a strategy is made to replace the aortic valve. When we do that, it involves typically a transcatheter aortic valve replacement, where we, usually we go through the groin and implant a new valve inside their old scarred down valve. Once that new valve is functional and the heart can contract and eject blood the way it's supposed to, patients instantly have an improved output and sustained over the one month until we get to have them back in our clinic to regroup and make sure they're healing up from the small access site in the groin. These are some of the most satisfied patients that we see because of the dramatic turnaround and their performance and how they feel.